Greetings, everyone. In today's captivating video, we are thrilled to share a groundbreaking archaeological discovery that has caused a sensation in the field. An ancient necklace, meticulously unearthed from a woman's grave, holds immense potential to reshape our understanding of the medieval era. Join us as we embark on a journey back in time, exploring the profound significance of this extraordinary find and the tantalizing secrets it may unveil. But before we begin, we kindly invite you to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications for regular updates. Let's commence our exploration. A team in England recently fulfilled every archaeologist's dream with an astonishing find that could have significant implications for the future. The site left Balazs awestruck, as he had never encountered anything remotely comparable in his entire life. This necklace, now famously known as the Desperos Necklace, was discovered in the same county as another renowned piece found in 1860. Among the entire collection, this necklace is undoubtedly the most valuable. The necklace currently displayed at the British Museum cannot be compared in any way to the exceptional quality of this particular piece. Despite a substantial portion of the skeleton having deteriorated, there were indications that a woman had once rested in that spot. Her identity and character remain a mystery, but the bones date back to the years 630 to 670 AD, marking her final resting place. The discovery of this necklace is undeniably fascinating, as pointed out by Balazs, but it also raises numerous questions and concerns. These perplexing revelations have spurred extensive research. The backstory behind this involves the Victory Group, a construction company that had plans to build homes in the vicinity. However, those plans were abandoned, prompting company officials to order an archaeological excavation to better understand the area's historical context. Daniel Oliver, a senior member of the Vistri team, had collaborated with archaeologists on various occasions prior to the Harpole excavation. One notable colleague is Simon Mortimer, an archaeologist and consultant for the RPS Group, who is associated with the RPS Group. If the predictions prove accurate, it could signify that this woman was one of the earliest prominent female figures within the Christian Church on the British Isles. Experts unanimously acknowledge the immense importance of this possibility. Another captivating aspect of this discovery lies in its potential to shed light on the broader religious landscape of medieval Britain. This holds significant significance for the overall findings. During his conversation with the Guardian, Oliver deliberately withheld specific details regarding the archaeological site's location. He preferred to keep it undisclosed, fearing the intrusion of individuals equipped with metal detectors. The experts have a considerable amount of work to complete before they can conclude their findings. An astute observer managed to determine that the coffin belonged to the 6th century, an enthralling period in southern Spain's history. This knowledge enabled the perceptive individual to estimate the coffin's age. During this historical era, Germanic peoples expanded their dominion across Europe, conquering regions previously under Roman rule. In these lands, they often repurposed existing Roman structures to suit their needs, although occasionally constructing entirely new edifices. The coffin hints at a similar occurrence in the area, which was once part of this region before its abandonment. The Romans plundered much from Mercia, but in exchange, they also brought many of their own innovations to the province. This was a win-win situation for all parties. Additionally, they moved some of the people who lived there. The beginning of the first stage in the history of Los Bilirico may be traced back to the middle of the first century and continues until roughly 100 years later. This stage of Los Bilirico's history is referred to as the pre-Columbian period. The history of the region of Mercia includes the construction of a sizable number of Roman villas throughout this time period. There are other ruins that are comparable to those at Los Bilirico, although none of them are as vast or well-maintained as those at Los Bilirico. Other comparable ruins can be found. Archaeologists excavated Los Bilirico's in the year 2021 and located a coffin there. They were attempting to determine the age of the coffin when they came across the fact that it dated back to the 6th century, 
which was during the period that the Roman Empire was falling apart and eventually dying out. Archaeologists found a coffin there in the year 2021, which lends credence to the theory that the Visigoths used it as a burial ground. If this theory is correct, then it would explain why the coffin was found there. In a recent interview with historian National Geographic, Rafael González Fernández, an archaeologist who is a member of the team, discussed the work that they have been carrying out. Since Emperor Constantine had a vision of the city of Cairo while he was praying and the symbol was on the lid of the coffin, the professionals who discovered the symbol on the lid of the coffin at Las Villericos were interested in it. When the sarcophagus was finally opened, as was to be anticipated, they found old bones inside. The fact that the bones seemed to belong to more than one person was a fascinating discovery made by the researchers. The majority of the stonework that had been used to design the room was still visible, despite the fact that there were just a few bone shards left over from the deceased person who had been there. The fact that there are burials of such a wide variety at Los Belyricos is proof of how much the area has changed over the course of time. The fact that this point was able to be illustrated by Los Villericos provides further proof of the usefulness of conducting research into the burial practices of various cultures. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comment section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.